ain't, and this is wickedness. We're out here in the midst of sin, and God doesn't like sin. Give me, give me Acts chapter 3, verse 19, but that's fast. Let me ask chapter 3, verse 19. We got to repent from all this wickedness that we're in. Got it? Read it. The book, the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the Bible says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Because if we don't repent, this ball bulligan is a form of oppression. It is oppressing us because this is where we spend all our money at. Read that again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. So you have a chance for repentance. If you repent, your sins will be blotted out. Get sin. What is sin? What's your question? Nah, the most I didn't want us to come to the Bud Bulligan Parade. And we find Colossians 2 and 8 after you get that. I'm going to show you why. We're not supposed to come to the Bud Bulligan Parade because the most I gave us um, holiday, holy days that we were supposed to um, celebrate, which is Passover, uh, right. Feast of Tabernacles was coming up, right. uh, Hanukkah, uh, Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedications, right. where we give our presents to kids. It, it's not Christmas, but that was a law that the Most High gave us, where we gave our presents. Not Christ's birthday or any, or, or not Christ's birthday. What you got? Colossians 2 and 8. Read Colossians 2 and 8. This is the book of Colossians. Chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Because the bold bulligan is a philosophy of who? Of who? Of the so-called and so-called white man. Because everything that's on this earth, he put it together. For us to have a bold bulligan parade, somebody had to go to him. Somebody had to go to him and ask, can they have this parade? Because there's nothing on the face of the earth that's not going to go on, that's going to happen here. We're not going through the so-called white man. Read that again. It's a philosophy of the so-called white man. Read. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And vain deceit. The Bull Bulletin Parade is a lie. It's a vain deceit. It's deceiving our people. Tell them, hey, this is a, um, a back to school organization. But they're out here, they out here to break, make you break the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath. That's They're right. not doing nothing to help you get the kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Everything God here is for you to sin. Read. In vain to see after the traditions of men. After the tradition of who? After the traditions of men. Because this is a tradition. It happens all the time, right? The Bull Bulletin Parade every year. It's a tradition of man. But not what? After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world. After this world. That's what the Bull Bullock and Parade is, is. A tradition of man at the rudiments of this world. Because it came from this world, not God, read. And not after Christ. And not after who? And not after Christ. Because Christ didn't tell us to um, do the Bull Bullock and Parade. That's Christ right. told us, give me um, Matthew chapter um, uh, 4, verse 1. Christ warned us, he came, when he came, he told us to repent, not to go to the Bull Bullock and Parade. That's what he told us to do. This is the book. Read. Yeah. Yeah, 417. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 4, and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ came to us to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But do we, is the book Billigan telling us how to get the kingdom of heaven? No, it's telling us how to sin. I'm going to get the kingdom of heaven and give me sin. Because this is making us sin. We're breaking the Sabbath. We're out here eating food that we're not supposed to eat. That's a law in the Bible. We're not supposed to eat shrimps, crabs, pork, lobsters. We're not going to eat, eat certain, there's certain fishes we were supposed to eat in the ocean. You had to have fins and scales. You got that? Give me sin. Let me show you what sin is. Read. This is the book of John. First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin. So it says whosoever committed sin. And right, it says whosoever, right? But does that mean everybody, everybody can't commit sin? No, because the laws wasn't given to everybody. It was only given to certain people, which was the children of Israel. Hold that. Give me um, Psalms chapter 147, right? 147 verse 19. Because everybody, everybody other nations on the earth, they can't sin. We're in the midst of sin. They can do this all day, all they want to. Right. But us, the most I say, y'all are separate people. I severed y'all. 
from every nation on the face of the earth. Right. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 sons of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. From Judah all the way down to Nephtali. These are the biblical names and these are the, the captives. That's what our slave masters gave us. Each one of them, the 12 tribes. Read, this is the lineage of Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read that again from the top. Read it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. Now he showed his word to everybody on the face of the earth. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his commandments unto Israel. His statutes and commandments unto who? Unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, that's supposed to read that again. He has not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any nation. Go back to sin. He have not dealt so with any nation. He only showed that Jacob and, and the children of Israel, he only gave them the, the laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. Because he gave to Israel in the wilderness. The Ten Commandments and the Laws. Read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. It said whoever commits sin transgresses also the law. Any more questions? Oh, when you work, like, separate, or got, like, two or three jobs, is that a sin? If you got two or three jobs, is that a sin? No. It's not a sin if you got two or three jobs. It ain't a sin to have two or three, uh, three jobs, sister. But it's a sin if you work on God holy days. You understand? Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is God holy day. This is God Sabbath. He got the Passover. He got new moon. Some people can't get up, but that's between you and the most high to deal with. You understand? In Philippians 2 and 12, he said you got to work out your own soul salvation. Yeah, but um, it's a sin if you uh, break God's laws, you understand? So two or three jobs ain't the problem. The problem is if you working on God's Sabbath day. And that's Sunday or Friday? Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Let me, let me, let, you know what? You said just said something, sis. Let me tell you something. Give me uh, Genesis 2 and uh, 2. Because Sunday is really the first day of the week. Right. Seven day of the week is Friday when the sun go down to the Saturday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Cause we were taught what, sister? The new day begin when? No, when's the when do the day start? When the um the white man said the day, not the week, the day. When do he said the day start? Twelve oh one. Twelve o'clock at night. This is the beginning of another day. That's what he said. But we are gonna see what God said. Go ahead. This is the book of Genesis. Chapter 2 and verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his works. So he rested on the Sabbath day from all his works. Laborous works. Cooking, cleaning. Work, laborous works. Cooking, cleaning, buying, and selling. You're not supposed to do none of that on God's holy day. You understand? You got six days to do it. On the seventh day, you're not supposed to buy and sell. You're not supposed to cook and clean. Cook, you ain't supposed to be in our kindling nothing with fire. Using the microwave on them holy days. I mean, on every Sabbath. Or, like I said, we got Passover. We got different um, high holy days that's uh, instituted that we got to keep his law central commandments. So, on the seventh day, God did all his works in what? And on the seventh day. On what day? And he rested on the seventh day. On the seventh day, sister. Friday, Sunday, to Saturday, Sunday. Give me Genesis 1 and 5. Because we're going to see when the day begins with the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 5. And God called the light it day, and in the darkness he called night. You call the light day and the darkness night, right? Because you got 12 hours of light day, and you got 12 hours of night. That's how it's really good. It ain't morning, afternoon, and evening. Really, it's just 12 hours day, 12 hours a night with the most high. But the white man always changed things around and trying to make his own. But the most high is 12 days a day and 12 days night. Go ahead, continue. In the evening and the morning. And what? In the evening and the morning. In the evening 
in the morning were the first day. Was the first day. When the sun go down, sis, and the sky's black, that's the beginning of another day with the most high. But he tell us 1211. But uh, on many, give me this last scripture here, Deuteronomy, I mean, Daniel 7 25. Many things we learned, sister, we've been lied to. We've been misled. Now, now, the time is now for us to wake up out of this deep sleep we've been in, out of these lies, out of these, these, these atrocities that we've been through. It's time for us to wake up and shake the lies and the deaths off of us and come back to the Bible like we're supposed to. That's right. Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Yeah. And he shall speak great words. He said he shall speak great words. Who is the he? The white man. He spoke great words against the Most High. I'm going to show you why. He's going to explain how he spoke great words against him. Go ahead. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. How did he wear out God's saints? Slavery. 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 Right. That's how he wore out the saints. Get, hold that. Give me Psalms 148, 14. We're going to see in the Bible who are the saints. Because the Bible explained everything. Since I just wanted to hit this really, because you heard that song when you was growing up. Oh, when the saints come marching in. And we thought the saints were everybody keeping God's laws. No. God going to explain who the saints are. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 148, and verse 14. He hath exalted the horns of his people, the praises of all his saints, even the children of Israel. Even in this uh, context right here, I mean, indeed. All Quaker word for even in the Bible mean indeed. Read that again for us. He has, he also exalted the horn of his people. Christ, he exhorted Christ to be over us, go ahead. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Indeed, the children of Israel. That's what he's talking about. We are God's saints. The Israelites are God's saints according right, to the Bible. Right. Read that again and then. This, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Did they do this to us? Did na many nations has an enslavery system. Not just one nation, not just us being here. We was enslaved by the Africans. We was enslaved by the Arabs. We was enslaved by the East Indians. In the Bible they call Persian Medes. You understand? We was enslaved by every nationality, but so-called Moabite, I mean the so-called Chinese, but in the Bible they call Moab. We was enslaved on the Ammon. We was enslaved under everybody on this planet Earth, sister. Right, this right. is our last slavery we serve in. This right. is the end of our slavery right here. That's Christ right. is about to come back and wake us back up and take us to what? A planet with a righteousness. No more evil. It's evil these people have, dressed half naked, women wearing pants. All this is about to be done away with. Right. We are the kingdom that's coming up next. Who? Right. The children of Israel. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? He saved the best for last. That's why you just hearing about us. That's right. He, God saved the best for last. He, when he put on the show, he put the act the best in the that's end. Right. That's so right. that's what we are here now to teach our people who they are, for they can come back and get salvation. Through them repenting. Through them repenting. I'm going to say it again. Through you repenting. What you learned today about the pants? Exactly. Exactly. Read. And think to change times. And law. So this man think he can change times. How you change his times? He said, leap year. Put the clock back an hour. Put it forth an hour. He said the night begin 12.01. That's him trying to change the times. But the moon and the sun go up and around the same time all the time. You can't change the sun and the moon. Because in order to keep the commandments, that's how you get, that's how you're going to get the kingdom of heaven. By keeping the commandments. 1916. Not knowing his name. Like they say, but well, you keep God's commandments, that's how you're going to get the kingdom. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Which is the kingdom of heaven. That's what everybody wants, eternal life. They want to they wanna go with the most high after they leave him and Christ, right? To get the kingdom, right? The pearly gates. Read. And he said unto them, and to him, why callest thou me good? So Christ told him, why callest me good? Why callest me good? He asked Christ, how did I get the kingdom of heaven? Read. There is none good but one. So Christ said humility. He said there's no, not, nobody good but one. 
So that separates Christ and God. Like they have in the church, they say Christ and God is the same. Or the Trinity, that's the same person. That's what they say in church, right? God and Christ the same. But that's a separation right there. Read that again. And he said unto them, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Read. That is God. That is who? That is God. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So Christ, Christ said, if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. The church tell you the commandments are done away with. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. But the commandments are not done away with. Bring it out. Because you go to church, they say you don't have to keep the laws of God. Like uh, Creflo Dollar said. Keeping the, he said keeping the uh, commandments of God is what? It's, it, it, it's a sin. He said keeping the laws of God is a sin. That's what Creflo Dollar said. The pastor. You what? He said you lose grace. You lose grace. That's the pastor. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Read that again. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ said, come not to destroy the law, but to fulfill. Read. For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass, one jot, no one tittle, and no wise shall pass from the law. So no, no, no precept, no law, the, 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 dress, the dress law, the beer law, none of those I shall pass from the law until what? Until all be fulfilled. Until heaven and earth. Until all be fulfilled. Read. Whosoever therefore. Oh. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. So the heavens and the earth is still here, so we still under the laws of God. Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.